it's about a space and it's about the light and the freedom and yeah all the things that um go away when i'm in there too the world disappears in in its uh, annoying way and in its way that causes you stress instead this other world turns up that is beautiful and creative and i see the bush outside the windows But I'm not necessarily drawing anything specifically from the environment, but I do love that the, I step out and I've got light and sometimes I throw paint in my work, which you can see if you look at it. So I often come outside to do that and I sit out in the sun and work on pieces that just need a little bit of touch up. So it's just a really, really lovely spot. And I, it's actually the shed that was, you drove your cars up and didn't have a front on it. So uh, we've cladded it all with corrugated iron and um, it is a bit rustic, the things we've put around it, but we did put, and this is my husband wanting to turn it into a studio for me, he put wall bats in the, the cavities and um, the wall cavities, I didn't think it would make so much difference, but in winter, people can come into my studio and go you know this is quite incredible in here and like a, a house has the same quality in terms of thermal mass with the mud bricks but amazing that you can have tin and put wool bats in there and, and keep it warm and quite cool so um it sort of evolved it still needs work i think the light in greece when we were there and the ceramic work and just generally the whole lifestyle made me want to go back to uni and do arts so i'd been prior to that i'd um just finished a master's in analytical psychology which they let me draw in and I was starting to feel like oh I want to leave my business work which was teaching uh, for Melbourne and Ballarat Uni and others and do something a little more heartfelt and rewarding so that's why I went back and did um, an undergraduate in in art and then I went and did my master's so now I just like to work on a campus. So my husband built it with the um, the idea of the, the artist, you know, the lovely room that opened the windows, not realising that artists that use big canvases actually don't have windows usually. They put their works on crates up against walls all the way around so that you've got all that wall space and they have just, um, you know, celestial windows or something. You can see I, um, I th sometimes um, flick paint <laughs> And part of that is I don't like the work to look too pristine. I really like sort of a, a human mark, uh, something that's unpredictable. And I like risking a work when you think it's finished and looking sometimes a little bit too slick. I like to throw paint on it just to, you know, see what happens. And so I'll have to paint it again. <laughs> yeah, so the light's very nice. Uh, okay, it's got also incredibly high ceiling, so that... That is something I really like. Sometimes I, I stay in here, I'll get up sometimes four or five in the morning and I stay in, I go in for meals and things, but uh, I go in late at night. Yeah, so yeah, just put my music on and work. So it's a pleasure to see other people take your paintings. Oh, it is. Yes, yeah. it is. And it's uh, often, even when they're at a gallery, I get to hear the story. So I hear that a couple saw that and it reminded them of a certain beach they were at or in their, it softens things like that. And that's lovely, yeah. Or well, sometimes people just send me little messages and things saying how much uh, yeah, joy they get from them. I thought, oh, that makes it worthwhile. Little, yeah. You know, nothing's perfect with it. So there's this real private, special space here that I can do what I like. <laughs>